I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Monday morning, the 23rd of September, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We go straight to the first book of Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 28. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen. So I looked up the Oxford Dictionary to find out the literal meaning of the word base. It means a low social class. The Lord Jesus used 12 uneducated, unknown men to change the whole world. But working together, those 12 men changed the world forever. And that's one thing I want to say to you today. Maybe you're feeling, I am worthless Nobody cares about me. I can do nothing for anybody. Don't believe it. It's a lie from the pit of hell. You know, I've studied all the great men of God, and just about every one of them started from a very low position. I think of Dr. David Livingston. He worked in a cotton mill as a young boy and educated himself. He came to Africa, and he was instrumental in being one of the men that stopped the horrific trade in human flesh. Yes, I'm talking about slavery. So what about James Hudson Taylor? He took the gospel to China, and he went on his own. Nobody sent him. He was studying to be a a pharmacist. He didn't even qualify. And yet he was responsible in sending or leading a thousand families to China to take the good news to those people. And I want to tell you something, not one of them was sponsored. They went by faith. And the greatest revival in the world today is taking place in the underground church in China. What about D.L. Moody? He was a shoe salesman. That man became one of the greatest evangelists the world has ever seen. He took the gospel all over the world. What about William Carey? He was a cobbler. Not even a shoemaker. When somebody was taking the mickey out of him, he said, no, I'm not a shoemaker. I'm a cobbler. I can only repair shoes. We must not look down on base things. I read this beautiful reading this morning by a man of God, and it says, in some of the great halls of Europe may be seen pictures not painted with a brush, but mosaics which are made up of small pieces of stone, glass, or other material. The artist takes these little pieces and polishing and arranging them, he forms them into the grand and beautiful picture. Each individual part of the picture may be a little worthless piece of glass or marble or shell, but... With each in its place, the whole constitutes the masterpiece of art. So I think it will be with humanity in the hands of the great artist. God is picking up the little worthless pieces of stone and brass that might be trodden underfoot, unnoticed, and is making of them his great masterpiece. Jesus bless you and goodbye.